Last year, a researcher at University of Illinois at Chicago published a paper showing a distinction between two groups of people, people who personally value their own critical thinking skills and people who feel a moral imperative for everyone to be rational. The latter group might think that they're above moral indignation until they realize that they think less of a person for making an irrational choice. That same researcher has teamed up with a colleague in Amsterdam to publish a new paper exploring the traits a person needs to be an active critical thinker, someone who doesn't hold irrational beliefs about things like religion or the paranormal. What they found isn't exactly groundbreaking, but it does merit some discussion. Essentially, it's not enough to just have analytical skills. A person also has to be in that group of people from the previous study, those people who value their own critical thinking skills enough to use them. This makes sense to me. I mean, I have both a hammer and nails, and yet I have a framed print that I haven't hung up for the past four months because I have the tools, but I lack the motivation to use them because I don't respect the importance of not having sad, empty walls. The researchers showed this by asking 300 people questions about their beliefs in conspiracy theories like the moon landing was faked, and then judging how analytical each person was in their thinking. They also figured out whether the subjects fell into one of those two groups from the previous research. Did they value their own critical thinking skills, and slash, or did they have a moral imperative for rationality? The people who were least likely to believe in nonsense were not necessarily the people who had analytical skills, but those who both had the skills and valued their own personal skills. I found it really interesting, though, that there was no correlation between a lack of belief in nonsense and the other group, subjects with a desire for all people to think rationally, that moral imperative. I suspect that many people in the skeptic and atheist communities are in that latter group of people who make moral judgments about those who make irrational decisions. I know I'm one, but I'm not sure how many people are in the group who truly value their own personal critical thinking skills. I've often wondered why a group of people so vocal about critical thinking can hold so many irrational beliefs, like those who think that all the social sciences are useless, or to refer to a video I made last month, those who believe anything Steven Pinker says. The moral of this story, pun intended, is to spend less time worrying about other people's irrational decisions and more time worrying about your own if you really want to rid your world of irrationality.